at one time had a wife from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. <laughs> so, things, that, things that work out so well. <laughs> so both these young ladies still have uh, Fargo eligibility, so we could see them face off again you know, here next year. Uh, you mentioned Bobblitz a rising junior, Hubby a rising senior. What are the rankings here, Gnomes? Uh, Hubby number six at 152, Bobblitz number four at 152. And I'm going to try and find out and see if we have a uh, prior meeting between these two as Bobblitz working a at a bar here. So Bobblitz uh, in the semis of Super 32 lost to Jersey Estrada who we just saw as the runner up at 144. And we got a 4-0 lead for Bobblitz now, just a minute in. Bobblitz, your runner up at Women's Nationals to Amit Elor, who again, if you have not seen Amit Elor, please go watch I wish her. She, was here. she is she is along with the young lady we're about to see next, Kennedy Blades, number one or number two on the pound for pound of uh Now you women said you were telling me me and Nomad were talking off camera about Elor and Blades and are you you told me Blades is a little bit bigger? Well, she's three, four inches taller. But they're but they're just, essentially it's close in weight, right? Well, so Blades, we're, we're going to get into this more, but Blades weighed in like point, she weighed in like 69.1 to wrestle 73 kilos at, she essentially bumped up so that both her and Elor could be on the for team. Better it's for be, it's team. better for the team because yeah, we're going to get two, country. I mean, we, we have the two gold medal favorites to close out our lineup. Sure. One minute remaining now in this first period, Bobblitz leading 4-0. Still trying to see if there is a prior meeting between these two. Bobblets has been, you know, the other thing with with some of the women's tournaments, the weights aren't aren't standardized, right? For our rankings, we you know for the state mm -hmm. the, for the state tournaments. There is absolutely it's chaos. <laughs> There's no organization because whatsoever. Because the weights aren't aligned. Right, the weights aren't aligned. So, you know, the, the rankings that we use, the rankings we're, that we're referencing, where we have uh, Bobblitz number four at 152 as she's looking to take a 6-0 lead here. Uh, we use the weights they use here in Fargo. We use the junior Fargo freestyle weights to just say, hey, which, as you know, there's a lot of, on the, on the men's side, there's a lot of people saying, well, I shouldn't be ranked at 152 because I'm really a 45. Well, you wrestled your state tournament at 152 is what we got. The only, way, the only time that comes into play any longer is Michigan. Sure, sure. Michigan, you know, they have, they go uh, 130, 135, 140, 145. Right. And, you know, should they be ranked at 38 or 32? But you know, so you have uh, you have a weight here where coming up next is 164. After that'll be 180. Well, if a state has a 170 weight class, mm -hmm. what do you do? Where do you where where do you put them in the rankings? Do you go 64? Or do you go 80? And people get mad, and it ultimately comes down to just where they'd be ranked higher. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, that's I should be ranked it this way. Why? Because I would be ranked higher. I'd be third instead of seventh. Just write that. Uh, So you know, Bobblets wrestled 148 at at uh, Super 32, which is exactly between 144 and 152. Well, she wrestled 152 here, so we got that right. But yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of differences in in the weights uh, in the women's rankings, and we you know again we try to do our best. And uh, Gary Abbott really does a lot of the the prep work for that, hunting down schools and I'm so and, glad and grades. there's rankings again. And I'm glad that you're a part of it. So 45 seconds in here. Hubby has fired off some attacks but still hasn't been able to you know, some uh, people say anything. That, some people say that rankings don't matter, and to an extent they don't, but it's good for context. 
right? Yes. If this is number four and number six, I know that they have a resume that's proven to be about the top in the nation, right? Yes. And if I see an unranked girl beat the number 10 ranked girl, I know that, man, she's on the come up. Yes. Good and shot, 50 50. You know, for here. a little context here as we wait to see the outcome of, of this scramble here. Um, number one at 152 is Hubby going to cut it to 4 to 2. Number one at 152 is Amit Elor. She's training for Cadet World, decided not to come. Jersey Strada at number two, 152. We just saw her drop down, 144. Hunter Robinson, I don't believe, was here. Uh, Bubbles and Hubby, right, four and six. And number five is Alexis Gomez, who's hurt. So, in terms of the girls who are entered, young ladies who are entered, this is. The expected final. Right. Which, again, can, you know, be dicey because sometimes you have situations where. Uh, you have situations where the top side and the bottom side, you know, separation criteria doesn't always align perfectly. So looking at the looking at the, the rankings, uh, Hunter Robinson, who actually came in as the uh, uh, highest ranked number three, lost to Ball Blitz in the quarterfinals, and then was and then actually lost in the round after that to Francesca Lopresti of California, who's ranked number three at 144. So you had number three versus number three at two weights meeting in the blood round, <laughs> and that's Fargo. 30 seconds to go here. Balbut's still leading 4-2. to two. Now, uh, Balbut's just with the 2-2, two and two, so Hubby, a takedown or exposure by Hubby would give her the lead on criteria. 30-second sprint for Hubby. Shot be on the shot. What's going to happen here, Will? Bobblitz brings her back up. Good righty underhook here to shut her down. And it will be Tiffany Bobblitz of Team PA giving PA another champ here, Junior Fargo Finals at 152 pounds. Let's see if Pennsylvania. I don't think they can. Pennsylvania is about fifth or sixth right now, they I'd can't imagine. can't crack the top five. Oh, they. Pennsylvania moved ahead of California. No, they didn't, because that's men's. Pennsylvania's in sixth. Tied for sixth with Missouri. Tied for sixth with Missouri. They cannot catch. Two champs, though. Illinois, who's way ahead with 37th in fifth place. So I'll take that. I'll, I'll take two champs and tied for sixth. That's not bad. 